Hi, welcome to my channel, Ruby Net Crochet Tejido. Today, I'll be teaching you how to crochet this beautiful shawl. Very easy to do. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of materials you're going to need to make. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the little bell. That way you get a notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I make my videos in Spanish and English. If you receive a Spanish video and you want to see in English, go to the main page of my YouTube channel and you'll find the English version in there. Also, you can send me a message and I can send you the link. Like this is the front and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to show you both back and front. That way you see the result. It's amazing. To mix this shawl, these are the material I'm going to use. They are the loosened thread, washable wool, fine two, 75% washable wool, 25% nylon. Um, they are 100 grams, this one's 100 grams, 357 meter. The color of this one is Mardi Gras and the color of this one is Bonfire at Night. This one is the Lusa, the Lusan Thread, uh, one likes simile lane, 100 grams, fine one, 85% acrylic, 15% nylon, and the color is then in blue. The crochet hook is 3.5 millimeter. You're gonna need tapestry needle and scissors. For this, you have to have 21 of these motifs. I already have the tutorial on the channel and how to make them. They're done like this. I'm gonna leave the link here. You're gonna see an eye. You click on the eye and it will bring you to the tutorial or at the end of the video, I'm gonna leave the link as well, just in case you don't see it here. I already made a blouse with these beautiful motifs and for this you're going to use all the big ones. The little ones is just for the blouse. Um, they're done exactly the same color as the blouse, all this one. What happened was I started making them and then for the blouse and I did 30. I only used 17 of this big one and then I have those extra and then I decided to make a shawl as well and then I did those extra to have 21 for this and the different as well the color that we're going to use to put the piece together the other one was black and this one is the this denim blue and this have some blues in it and so it will be perfect and some of them have so that will be perfect perfect color combination so if you don't see the blouse as well I'm gonna see the, the link here is this blouse. I'm gonna leave a picture here that way, that way you guys can see it. And at the end, I will leave the link as well. So you have to make 21 of this big one. The four first motif, we're gonna do uh, the union exactly the same as we did for the blouse, those first four. And then after that, it will be a little bit different because it's a triangle show what we're gonna do. First you have to do a full motif and the, with this color you are gonna finish and then after you're gonna attach the rest to the first one like we did with the blouse. Um, so for this one I'm gonna try to do three rounds and instead of two like the blouse because I want this to be a little bit bigger that way the shawl is nice and big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the round of 7 chain and then the next one of 8 and maybe the other one of 9. But I will see. I will see first how it look before I go to the next step. So you're going to do a single crochet in here and then you're going to start 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, and seven. With this, you can do a very nice bed spread. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Single crochet. You just have to do them as I gonna attach the first four motif and do the flower in the center and then you do them nice and a square or rectangle 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, I'm seeing the crochet. One, two, three. Like that, you're going to continue all the way around this first round with the accent color. Once you finish the first round, it will look like this. I finished with a slip stitch and the first single crochet. Now for the second one, you're going to slip stitch to the center of the chain space. I'm gonna slip one, two, and three, and I'm gonna go here and I do a single crochet, and I'm gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, single crochet. And like that, you're gonna continue working a, a chain of eight a space and you're gonna finish here on the first one with a slip stitch. I finished that complete round, now I'm gonna work on the third one and I'm gonna be a chain eight a space as well. So you're gonna slip to the center. For the blouse, I only did two of these. For this one, like I mentioned, I'm gonna do a third one. Now you're going to do a single crochet, chain 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, and you go to the next space and do a single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, single crochet. Like that, you're going to continue all the way around, you're going to finish here. And a single crochet with a slip stitch, you cut the yarn, uh, chain one, cut the yarn, and lose the tail. And you will do entire motif like this. Now, when you're working in the next one, we'll put the next one together to this one. Only one, you do the three round completely. So, when you're working in the next one, you'll do round two, one and two. And then, when you're working in the third one, do a couple of space of chain. Eight, and then I will meet you here to put these two together. I'm working in the third round of this second motif and we're gonna start attaching the two motif exactly the same as we did for the blouse. If you've done the blouse or if you've seen the tutorial you'll see it's very easy to do and we're only gonna attach in one two three and four in space. So I'm gonna chain four one two three and four. You're gonna pass your hook through the loop and then you're going to pass it here and then you're going to chain four. One, two, three and four. Go to this chain A space and single crochet. One, two, three and four. Go to the next chain A space, pass your hook through and then you're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet. One, two, three, and four. Go to the next one. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet. One, two, three, and four, and go to the last space. You pass it through. One, two, three, and four. And a single crochet. Now you're gonna work all your eight spaces all the way around, and you're gonna finish with a slip stitch here where you start with the single crochet. You're gonna finish that one. You're gonna start working on the next one with the two full round when you're working on the third round i will meet you here to show you how you're going to put them together i'm ready to work with this third one so i'm going to chain four one two three and four 
and you're gonna come here you have this one finish in this uh, space you skip the next one and go to the one after that and you're gonna start exactly like the blouse you're gonna do the four first motifs these four exactly the same as I did for the blouse one two three four. except these ones have an extra round and you're gonna do the single crochet and then you're gonna continue attaching into the next three and then you're gonna continue and finish this one where you start the round I'm gonna attach number four and we're gonna attach it from this one and this one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna skip one of these, you see these two are together in this space. So you're gonna leave this space of eight without working and then you're gonna count one, two, three and four and then number four is where you're gonna start to attach these two in four spaces. You always have to leave one space of chain eight and here you see I left out I'm gonna leave that one I left that one and this one in here and one from this one so I'm gonna chain one two three and four and again one two three and four now you're gonna come here I'm gonna attach this one in those four spaces and I will meet you here to show you how you wanna work from this one to this one. I finished attaching these two together and then you see you have that space of chain eight now we're going to create this space of chain eight in this one one two three four five six seven and eight you're going to do a single crochet in the next space one two three and four and then you can move this around in order to work in between those two and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna skip this chain a space and you go to the next one and work these two motifs together in the four space one two 
three, and four. Single crochet. Now you're gonna continue working between those two until you attach in four space. You have three more to go. And then you will finish this one, lose the tail, and I will meet you here to show you how to do the flower in the center. Now we're gonna work in the flower here at the center. It's gonna be exactly the same as I did for the blouse. Um, the one for the blouse, remember I was black, but I explained it with the white, but I'm gonna explain it now with the blue as well. So once you finish, I recommend to lose the tails as you go, that way when you finish the last the stitch, all the tails are gone. So you're gonna start with a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, that way you can see a little bit better. And now we, I'm gonna start in this space between these two stitches. And I'm gonna show you exactly where I'm gonna pass my hook. You see this one overlap on top of that one, so I'm gonna pass it through that one, and here create a little space opening for the two, to create the center. That way the stitch don't move from there. Because right now they get bigger and smaller, if you like. So you're gonna pass it through here. You're gonna grab the stitch or the loop and you're gonna pass it through. You're gonna chain one and you're gonna do a yarn over. Now in the chain, remember you did seven, but we're gonna work on six stitches. So you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, and then number six, you're gonna do a half double crochet. Yarn over, a double crochet, and the next one. Yarn over, another double crochet, and the next one. In total, you're gonna do three double crochet and three chain space. And three. Now the next one will be a stitch number five, will be a half double crochet, and the last one number six will be a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven chains. You're gonna go to the next space, that is the chain A space, and you go inside the chain this time. And you're gonna chain one. Yarn over, and you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five. Number six, you're gonna do your half double crochet, and that's a stitch number one. That's six. That's one. Number two is a double crochet. Number three is another double crochet, and then number four is another double crochet. Number five is a half double crochet. And number six is a single crochet. Again, you're gonna chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're gonna move your work around. Now we have to work in between these two motifs, so we're gonna pass it through that one and the one underneath, creating like a, a little opening to pass the stitch in between, and you're gonna chain one. You're gonna do a yarn over, and you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, and the number six, you're gonna do a stitch number one, that is a half double crochet. I always count one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I know one is a half double crochet, two is a double crochet, three a double crochet, four a double crochet, and then a half and a single. So that was one, 
do. Three, four, five is a half double crochet, and six is a single crochet. And like that's how you're gonna continue all the way around creating this eight petal flower. The next petal will be in the chain eight space. The other one in between these two. The other one in the chain eight in between these two and the chain eight. In the end, you're gonna have eight petals. And then I will show you how to close and how to finish this center. When you finish it will look like this. Now with this tail I'm going to pass a little bit through around the petals and just to close it a little bit, not a lot. I don't want it to be as close as the one for the blouse because it looks really nice like this. It's just to pass it around. And if you look this, it looks like a square in there. It's really nice. 
So I'm going to lose those tails and then I will show you how to attach the next ones. Once you finish, it will look like this. You're gonna work on the next motif, and you are when you're ready to go, you're gonna pick which one you want for the tip. So I picked that one. So I'm gonna work like this. I almost attached these two together, and they are pretty much almost the same color. So I'm gonna come to this side, and I'm gonna attach it to this one. So what you're gonna do is, once you are ready to go with this one, working in the third round and you chain four, one, two, three, and four. You're gonna skip this space and you're gonna go to this one and you're gonna attach this one in four space. Once you do that, you'll finish the rest of this motif and then you're gonna do the same in the other one in this side attached to this one. You skip that one and you cut one, two, three and four and you will put it in this four in here. Once you finish, it will look like this. Now the next one, you're gonna attach in between these two and the other one in between these two. And then after that, you will do the other one in here and then the other side. And on each uh, row, you're gonna add one motif. So you start with one, two, three, and the next one you have four, and the other one five, and so on. So in here, when you do the next one, you're gonna attach it in here and top of them in between these two. So you're gonna skip this one and you're gonna count one, two, three, and four. And these four, you're gonna attach the next one, and then you'll do the chain eight space, and then you'll come here and you attach from one, two, three, and four, and the same in the other side. And then the next one, so you're gonna skip that one and you're gonna do one, two, three, and four. You skip that one and then the number. Well, it will, be, it will be the number one, it will be here, in between these four. 
you skip that one, you attach number two between these two. Number three between these two and number four out here and the top of that one. But I will prepare uh, the next motif. I will show you how to do the next row and from there you can take the rest, okay? But it's very easy. Once you finish with this one, it will look like this. And the same way that you attach this one, you're going to do the next one. You're going to come here. You're going to create your uh, two round. When you're working on the third one, you will come here. And you will skip this one and you will count. Or from here. It's easier from here down. You skip that one and you will count. One, two, three, and four. And you're going to attach them in these four stitches. And you'll see you have an extra chain A space an extra chain A space in here. And then when you work until here, those four, you'll create your chain eight, and then you skip this one and go to this one, and you attach one, two, three, and four. And the one for the corner, you see you finish in four, you skip that one, and you attach this one in one, two, three, and four. And the same for the other side. Here, you skip that one, and you attach the next one, one, two, three, and four, and this four, always leaving in between each motif a space of eight. It's exactly the same as in here, okay? So let me turn this around, that will be much easier. And make sure that you don't put two motifs exactly the same in the same space. And the same, you know, one beside the other one. Like these two, they are almost the same, I don't put those two, so I'm going to put that one on the other side. So in here, I will put this one, okay, in between these two, and this one, and the other side. So for this one, let me see if I can explain a little bit better this way. This one, when you're going to start working, you will skip that one, you'll count one, two, three, and four, attaching those four. You see, you have that extra there. You do your chain eight, and then you come to this one, you do the four, and then the four, leaving always a space in between this, the, the motifs. Okay, when you're doing a row. So I will work on this one off camera. I don't want to record for this one because it will be exactly the same as this one that I already showed you, and then I will uh, meet you here uh, to continue.
Once you finish, this two will look like this. And let me turn this around, that way it will be easier to explain. You have these two of the third round row. <laughs> and then the next one, you will put in here. You skip that one and you will work the next one in one, two, three, and four, and these four. And you want to open a space in here, like this one. See that space that you have here? You create in that one in between these two. And then you go to this one and you attach the other one. One, two, three, and four, leaving one chain A space in between. And then you'll have four of this space. Uh, three of those space, sorry, three, one, two, and three. You see, you have one flower of this one, two in this one, three in the next one, four in the next one, and so on. In total, you're gonna have six rows. And that will be your 21 motifs. You have one, and you have two, and this one three, and the next one four, and the other one five, and in the last one, six. If you want to have this a little bit bigger, you will do an extra with seven motifs, and that in total will be 28 of these motifs. So I recommend each time you get these empty spaces, go ahead, do the flowers, that way at the end you have them all uh, fall like this one, exactly like that one. You're gonna do these ones in here. So I'm gonna work in this one in here, and in this one in here, and you see, in the next row, you will put one in here, one in here, like these ones, but and another one here, and then the two for the border. And that will be much easier if you work uh, the center motif first, and then the one on the border will be easier for you to attach. Once you have the border like this, and then it's easier to just leave one, and then one, two, three, and four, and you put the border one in the, the one that goes straight out like that at the ends. So it's very easy to do once you get going uh, and you get, you know, the how it, they go. Um, it will be very easy. So I'm going to work on the two at the side, work on this one, and then I will show you how to continue. I finished with these four and it will look like this. So now you're going to do the next row and you're going to place one in here, one in there, one in here, and then one on each step of the other one. For the total of five in this row, you're going to have five of these motifs. So it will be like this, one on top of that one in the corner, and then one in between these two, another one here is three, another one in between these two is four, and the other one in the tip is five. And I recommend to start in these spaces. It's much easier because you always have to leave on each motif one space of chain eight. So you're going to attach this one in between here, leaving one space of eight and this one, like this. And the same in the other one, and the same in the other one, and then when you do this one, uh, let's see, so that's what, one, two, three, and four, leave one, and then you do in this four, in this one in here. And then you're going to continue working those all the way until you work all the motifs that you want to work and you have the size that you like. And filling up this space. You see, in this one, you have one. And this one of these three motifs, you have two of this flower. And the next one of four motifs, you'll have three of those flowers. And I recommend when you do the next row of this, just go ahead and do these flowers. And so on, it'll be much easier working the entire full uh, shawl until the end. When you finish at the end, and then it's just to finish the border and you'll have your piece done. So go ahead, work on this. I'm gonna work off camera and I will meet you here when I'm ready to finish.
Once you finish the last row or motif, it will look like this. So we're going to do this now to close that a little bit. We're going to do that in all the spaces. So what I did... A slip knot. And you're going to come to this one and you're going to skip that chain A space. And you're going to go to the next one. And you're going to pass the loop. And you're going to chain one and you're going to do a single crochet in here. You're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're going to skip this chain eight and you go to the next one. And then there, to the center, you're going to do a single crochet. You're going to chain one. You're going to cut your yarn. And you're going to lose those tail and that's what you're going to do in all the spaces to create a space of eight to do the flower and to close this a little bit that's what i did in here so after that you're going to do the flowers in this space i don't want to show you how to do the flowers because it's exactly the same as we done in the other ones it's exactly the same and what i did you see is have eight petals so you're going to do one in the chain 8 space. You're going to do another one, another petal in between these two motif. Another one in the chain 8 space and another one between these two motif and the chain 8 space. And then one where you did the single crochet, one in the center of the chain 8 space and one where you did this single crochet in here. And you see, it's exactly like that. So you're going to do that in all the spaces and I will meet you here. Once you finish creating these flowers motifs, you're gonna grab your yarn, you're gonna do a slip knot, and you're gonna come to any of these chain A space. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna chain one and do a single crochet. And I'm gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight go to the next space single crochet one two three four five six seven eight single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight single crochet like that you want to continue with a chain of eight and a single crochet. Six, seven, and eight. Single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, six. Seven and eight. Single crochet. And now here, you see you got to that space. And now you're gonna work in the same space where you have the flower. After you chain eight, you're gonna do a yarn over in that same space. You're going to do a half double crochet. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then single crochet. And like that's how you're going to continue all the way around this border. Doing this on top of the flower. So in each, each space is a chain of eight, chain eight, half double crochet in the same space where you have the petal and then you continue to the next motif.
once you finish all the way around this one you will go on the side and in this space in between these two motifs you will do a half double crochet with a chain of eight all the way around like this a chain over and you see you go in between these two and do your half double crochet one two three four five six seven and eight single crochet in the chain in the space and like that you're gonna continue all the way around and then you will finish where you start on the border of the top with the um, single crochet and then I will meet you here I finished with the slip stitch and the first single crochet that you start now you're gonna chain one again and in that same space you're gonna do a single crochet and now in the chain A space, and you're gonna do nine single crochet and lose the tail at the same time or trap the tail there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And the single crochet, you're gonna do a single crochet. And in the chain A space, nine single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine single crochet and the single crochet. And like that is the border you're gonna do all the way around your shawl around this chain a space you're gonna do this you're gonna finish here with a slip stitch you chain one cut the yarn pass it through and lose the tail and you done your shawl i finished the border and it looked like this i absolutely love it it looked really nice with that brown of single crochet all the way around that make a little bit thicker the border it looks really nice, give it more definition and look how nice this in the bottom part and like that is on the top you go like this on the top like that and like this going down you have a really nice size and this is the tip If you do this with the black and instead of the blue, I will look absolutely amazing because the color will pop out more. I chose the blue because I already had done the blouse with the black and I don't want it to work with the black because I wanted you to see what I was doing in this one. But it looked really, really nice. When I started the blouse, I had two of these and two of this one and this is what I have left of those four so with one and a half of each is enough for the blouse and the um, shawl I have here uh, probably less than one and a half because I have a lot of this one in here a little less of this and from this one I have this left I have enough here for a project I will wind it up in a ball and then I will save it for another project but it's really, really nice, this uh, shawl. So you can use any color you want to do it. It looks amazing. Well, this is the end result, and I absolutely love the way this shawl looks. It looks amazing, and it's very easy to do. And I hope you guys like it, and give it a try, and a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. And if you make this beautiful shawl, and you want to send me some picture. You can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Necrochet Tejido, or my Instagram, Ruby Necrochet Tejido. Please share my videos with friends and family. That way you help me grow here in YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.